Hey James, welcome to Howdy. my show, and uh, I've been trying to get you on for a little while now, and you uh, hail all the way from Dunrovin Ranch, which you are the uh, uh, basically the main tech guy who does the streams through Dunrovin Ranch. Yep, so the head geek. The head geek. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a little bit more about uh, you know those live from Dunrovin Ranch uh, streams. Yeah, so we've been live streaming now since I think 2012. Um, it started when the University of Montana put up a camera for an osprey nest. Uh, so we have a nest there at Dunrovin, and we've had a, a mating pair there for years and years. And the University of Montana wanted to do some research to compare the osprey and fish coming out of the Bitterroot River versus the Clark Fork River. Kind of like a, a city osprey versus a rural osprey. Kind of, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's go with that. Yeah, for sure. So, and and we're only like 10 miles south of Missoula, right. so, um, but, it, but it's in a totally different valley and drainage and everything, so it's kind of cool to get started that way, but that grew from one camera on a nest to now we have four cameras live streaming 24-7. Cool, so. and uh, people can look that up on, uh, uh, online? Yeah, um, days at dunroven.com is the website, and uh, we've got all four cameras there, and you can, um, you can watch all four for free, or you can be a member and chat and kind of get to oh, know us and right. chat with all the other members that are watching and, and see a calendar of all our upcoming live streams. Because we do, uh, the nature cams are part of the live streams, but we also do special broadcasts. So we have horse training, horseback riding, we do dog training, we've got uh, presentations on the ospreys and all kinds of different things. Yeah, that's becoming more and more uh, useful, a lot of like not necessarily uh, ranches, farms, and just a lot of people, even like people who sell like big cattle, and they sure. like just to be able to show off, you know, the cattle, their their meat stock and their beef and all that stuff, just yeah. to kind of show people, you know, some of, you know, how they move and how that stuff, because that's becoming more and more uh, like, such a big deal, especially when you know, like they go to auction, they do some training, stuff like that. But yours, uh, Dunrove, it seems like there's a lot uh, more geared towards education type stuff and yeah. other kind of uh, um, uh, goodwill causes and stuff, because I remember one of the big things that Dunrove did was the painted horses. That's right. Yeah, you came down and helped us uh, do some features for that, and we've been doing that for about three or four years now, and it's a fundraiser for some of the different charities we've worked with over the years. And so what we do is we have artists come, and, and this last year we had six artists paint six horses, and they paint on them with uh, water-soluble you know, gouache paints. Right. It's all bio-friendly and everything. But um, we do a contest, and then we have people online that are watching the live stream vote. And so it costs $5 a vote or something for charity. And so all that money ends up going to support these charitable causes. Yeah. And it's a fun art contest, and it's very novel seeing these painted horses run around. And yeah. That's pretty neat. And it's also on the website. You know, people yep. can check out the last couple of years. You know, yep. you have professional photography come down, take yep. some photos. Just a lot of, just a lot of great programs there yeah. as well. And uh, you also, um, Dunrovin, besides being Dunrovin, what are some of the systems that you use in place to keep the live stream going? Yeah, we actually have a lot of moving parts there. Um, so, you know, when you think of just going out and shooting video on your phone or something, you can definitely live stream that way. Right. But for us, we've got cameras on a nest, we've got camera over the river, we've got a camera looking at the ranch and a bird feeding station. These cameras are 24 seven. So they've got to be out in the elements all day, 365 days a year. So they've got to work in the heat of the day when it's 100 degrees out or when it's you know, 30 below, below 20 and like <laughs> right. really freezing outside. <laughs> right. Yeah. And so we use uh, what's called uh, motorized PTZ cameras, pan, tilt, zoom. And they look kind of like a dome. Uh, they're big, white dome. And then uh, we can remote control them yep. by our computer system. And so, and I can log in remotely and do it from my phone even if I need to. But we set them up on automatic tours and they'll, they'll give people a view of the river from north to south. Um, we can have some of our users will remote in and they can control mm -hmm. them remotely. So we have two users on the East Coast that are on the site all day, every day, and they have remote control privileges. Right. And so they're moving the camera all the time. Yeah. And then the yeah. cameras are getting better, streams are getting better, everything just they looks are. nicer and nicer and nicer. Yeah. And this is the kind of year where people can really look into like those live stream cameras. I remember that uh, National Geographic tried to do what they call their uh, Olympic Games, where they try to have many different locations for cameras and stuff like that. Yeah. But with nature, a lot of times you can't, you know, like have a person with a camera there at all times. 
Yeah. So these kind of live streams. These animals, kind of... they don't run on schedule, right. right? So we might have a schedule like going live at two o'clock and the animals And the animal's like, no, you're right? not. Yeah. <laughs> Even the horses that are domesticated and we have a little more control of, I mean, we kind of got to roll with it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and you have really nice horses too, because I remember that you got like a couple of years back, there was like a horse kind of following us around, just kind of like very curious and all oh, that yeah. stuff. And just like a nice area too, because it's not only just like what you'd imagine a ranch to be, just like open area, prairie. Yes, there's that. But then there's also kind of like a nice kind of trail, forest kind of thing to the river. Just a very beautiful place just to do these kind of live yeah. streams. Yeah, absolutely. And, it, it, you know, we do some mobile broadcasts, so we'll mount... Um, like a GoPro on, on top of a riding helmet or a cell phone or something. And we'll do, uh, we'll, we'll bring in Zoom sessions from remote guests. Uh, we also do some work with a rancher in Eastern Montana. And um, he's there on his computer, his phone and out in the field and, and giving us some instruction and in doing teletraining for horse training. So we, we try to bring in people from all different places and kind of walks of life to contribute on these live stream channels. Cool. And once again, where can people find these live streams and hopefully subscribe to be part of it? Yeah, it's days at dunroven.com. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's, is there anything else? Um, no, I mean, I, th I think it's really cool to connect with just the community at large. And, and it, it's something that with live streaming, I think we think of all the tech and I mean, you and I are kind of geeks yeah. in that way, and we go we go for the because with ours it's mostly just like cables. you set up and then you tear down right. and then we go on. Right. But with you, you know, it's really cool because you can like do these kind of setups and then just kind of leave it there and then just do your maintenance over the uh, over time and yeah, like that. and that that's all super cool and it's great to have it locked in place like that. But the more important thing and having the website and even having it so that we're hosting the chat and everything on our own platform that's off of social media is that it gives that community a chance to really grow in a way that's a little more organic than even social media. So it's more close-knit community and it gives folks a chance that if they're homebound right. or if they you know, just can't get out much or they don't have a big social circle, they can have their own social circle at Dunrovin. And we've had lots of people contact us and say, thank you for doing this because otherwise I might be a burden to my family or I, I just wouldn't have as many friends or whatever. So it's been really cool to work in the tech side of live streaming, but for the purpose of more of that humanity side of it and the, and the social uh, benefits of that. So that's, that's been kind of the biggest um, impact from my side of things. Well, thanks for joining us. Yeah, yeah. happy to be here.